Do you want to be able to turn your Ecamm Live virtual monitor on and off with Stream Deck? Well, if so, you're in luck because I'm going to tell you how to do it in this video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, and I'm going to do a series of videos all about how I use Keyboard Maestro with Stream Deck to control some things on Ecamm or how I use it to uh, help me with my general Ecamm setup and workflow. Uh, if you're not an Ecamm user, don't worry, there'll be some stuff in here as well. Uh, if you are interested in Stream Deck and Keyboard Maestro, because some of the workflows can be applicable to other applications as well. Uh, we're going to start with an easy one today, and it is uh, to basically toggle on and off the uh, <laughs> the video monitor, I nearly forgot what I was talking about then, the video monitor on my uh, Ecamm Live because I do use a teleprompter, but I don't use it for uh, scripts, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm not reading anything here. Um, and But I do use it to have the output from Ecamm Live going to my teleprompter so that I can actually make sure that I'm on the right scene and that sort of stuff. In fact, let me just show you what that looks like. Uh, so here is my monitor. Here is my regular Ecamm setup. Here is where I'd often have different things that I'm going to be demonstrating in my tutorials in different positions on the screen. Uh, and then up here is my camera and my uh, teleprompter. <coughs> the teleprompter itself is a Desview T3, which basically is this unit, and that just sits over the top of the camera uh, lens. It sort of slides onto a ring on the front of the lens. Uh, and then down here, I've got a Lilliput A7 uh, field monitor that goes over HDMI into my computer. And so now basically, if I look into the lens, what I'm seeing there is the output from Ecamm Live. So it means that I'm looking down into the lens, but I can still see what's going on. I did a video all about the uh, Lilliput and the Desview. And so I'll leave a link to those in the description and also in the top corner. But what I'm talking about specifically here is, um, at the moment I have the output from Ecamm coming into my Desview T3. Uh, and so I want to be able to toggle that on and off. So if I press this button here, you'll notice that it disappears from the screen and then press it again and it comes back. Um, the screen is still on. The screen just basically is uh, acts as another uh, desktop. So it just acts as another display on my computer. Um, and so when I'm filming these videos, I want the Ecamm output in there. Um, whereas if I'm on a Zoom call or something like that, I want to be able to turn off that output because then I'll just have Zoom there so that I'm making eye contact directly and can see the people that I'm talking with on Zoom. So there's various different reasons why you might want to toggle this on and off. Uh, you may have it on a secondary monitor using the uh, uh, the video monitor function on Ecamm Live uh, and you may want to toggle it on and off for that as well. So uh, I should probably just say exactly what I'm talking about in Ecamm Live. Maybe this is a feature that you didn't even know existed. Well, if I come over to my uh, regular desktop, uh, and then here, if I come up in my Ecamm Live menu, I go to Output, uh, and then down here, we've got a Video Monitor. If you've got multiple screens attached to your computer, uh, then you'll see them actually in a list here. So you can just choose which one you want it to go to. Uh, and then you can toggle it off here by just clicking that. It will go off and then come down here and come back to Video Monitor, uh, and you can turn it on again. So that is the uh, the actual function in Ecamm Live that I want to uh, to, uh, to trigger. Uh, and so we can do this in uh, Keyboard Maestro. There is no Stream Deck um, button built in to do that at the moment, uh, but we can do it with a, uh, a little Keyboard Maestro macro. So let's come over and have a look at how to do that. If I come over to my... Uh, Keyboard Maestro for a moment, setup. Uh, I'm not gonna do a full introduction to Keyboard Maestro. I have already done that, uh, and I'll leave a link to the video just up above me here. <laughs> um, so uh, what we're gonna do though is, um, as I say, I am gonna go through and do a series of videos on different uses for um, uh, Keyboard Maestro with Ecamm. So I have quite a few macros that I use specifically for that. Uh, but we're gonna start from the beginning and just build this one out. So all we're gonna to do to trigger this uh, particular macro is we're gonna use the built-in function to basically activate a uh, menu command in any application. And the, the secret to this is to do it so that it runs in the background because we could obviously just assign a keystroke to it in Ecamm uh, and then use the built-in Stream Deck function to trigger that keystroke. The only trouble is if you are doing screen demos, things like that, and another application is at the front, um, then those keystrokes won't work unless they're sort of universal keyboard shortcuts. So um, let me show you how we can do this though and trigger a keyboard shortcut in any application in the background in Keyboard Maestro. So I'm going to come down here to create a new macro uh, and I'm going to call this one uh, video monitor. Whoops, if I can uh, get into the right text box. Uh, video 
monitor on. And all we're gonna do here is, I'm not gonna assign a trigger to it. So uh, as I mentioned in my intro video, which is linked uh, with Keyboard Maestro, you've basically got a set of triggers. So you can add in multiple different triggers here. Uh, and then what happens when you actually do trigger the macro, uh, you can add in a whole series of actions down here. Well, this is basically one of the simplest because all we're gonna do is just add in one action. And so we're gonna come down here where the little new action button is, click on here. And what we want to do is we want to basically trigger a menu command. So if I search for menu, so I'll come over here and just type menu. Uh, and there you go, it's narrowed down the search. When you are searching, by the way, I've mentioned this before, but it's worth mentioning again. When you are searching for a command in Keyboard Maestro, uh, just make sure that in the categories uh, over on this side, you've got all actions selected, uh, and then it's gonna be doing that search in all available actions rather than like a little subset of them. Uh, so if we search for menu though, here, you can see that we've got this one, select or show menu item. And so here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select a specific menu item in the uh, picker, uh, or sorry, in the Ecamm menu, I should say, but we've got a little picker that we can use uh, to drill down to that. So here we're going to click on uh, menu, and it should bring up a list of the uh, currently running applications. It's just funnily thinking about that for a little while. In fact, let me just go over here. I can actually select the application first, or we can do it over here. So if you know the application, you know the menu, and you know the name, you can type it in manually. Uh, but I always find it's easier to do uh, this way. So I'm going to go to Ecamm Live, and then in the menu, if you remember, it was in the output menu, uh, and then it was in the video monitor, uh, and then there we go, we've got the uh, two options, so either off or in my case, it's just called monitor. As I say, you may have different uh, monitors in here if you've got multiple, so you will be able to pick the one that you want it to go to, uh, but mine is currently just called monitor, so I'm gonna click on that. Uh, and that is as simple as it goes to uh, actually create the first step. So that is our video monitor on. Now what we want to do is we want to duplicate that, uh, this macro, because we want another uh, macro now that's gonna turn it off. So if I come here and I just uh, duplicate, like that, uh, and then this one we're gonna call video monitor off. And then down here, we can either go through that little tree diagram to get back to the, um, uh, the option that we want, but if you remember, there was two options, one was monitor and one was just off. So if I type in off here, then that will actually be exactly what we want. So we've got one macro to turn it on and one macro to turn it, on, uh, to turn it off. And if I uh, just trigger the off one, then I can tell you that my video monitor has just gone off. And if I trigger the on, then my video monitor has come on. So now what we want to do is add this into our Stream Deck uh, and make it one nice little neat button. Uh, so I'm gonna come over to uh, Stream Deck. I can show you that I actually have mine uh, here. So this is my, uh, my button for my uh, toggling my video monitor on and off. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you how I did that in here. Uh, and what I used was, I actually used a switch because we want two states, because it's not one hot, hot key to toggle it, it's basically one keystroke to turn it on, or sorry, one macro to turn it on, uh, and one macro to turn it off. Uh, so what I did is I came into Stream Deck, and then I created uh, a uh, switch. In fact, hang on one second. <laughs> a uh, multi-action switch. So uh, it's not a hotkey switch because we don't want to assign a hotkey. Um, it's actually, we're performing an action. And although it's not technically a multi-action, uh, it's the only way that I can add in that particular um, macro because the hotkey switch wants you to add in hotkeys. So I'm using a multi-action switch, but I'm only gonna use one action in each one, if that makes sense. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to uh, my uh, keyboard maestro which is in custom and km link so uh, just once again uh, in case this is the first one you're watching related to using keyboard maestro with stream deck uh, the plugin that i recommend is km link so if you come into your stream deck store sorry if i'm rushing <laughs> if you come up here <laughs> click on this to go into the stream deck store then go to plugins and then come over here into the search box and type km link uh, if he can spell properly, there we go, it's come up there. Uh, that's the one you want. There is a Keyboard Maestro plugin as well, but I find that the KM Link one is the easiest one to use to just simply activate macros. So let me come back into that switch. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my little KM Link action in. And here it will tell me 
uh, the uh, the macros that I've got, and it will show me the last modified one, which was this one, video monitor off. So I'm going to click on that one, uh, and then I'm going to come over to the second state of the switch. So this is going to is what is going to happen when I click it once. But if I come over to here to the second stage, uh, then this is what is going to happen when it switches back the other way. Uh, and so what I want to do here is add in another KM link. And this time we want to have that video monitor on. So if I come down here somewhere, Ecamm Live Demo, I think it was called. Uh, there it is, video monitor on. So now I've got this switch where in one state it's off and in the other state it's on. And that is as simple as it gets. Uh, obviously when you're in this uh, uh, particular action or this multi-action in uh, Stream Deck, you can change the icon for here and here so that you've got two separate uh, icons if you want. Uh, and so then what happens when I press that is uh, my video monitor will turn on and off. And just to uh, just to prove that, <laughs> here we go. Uh, you can see that the video monitor is toggling on and off as I'm pressing that button. So that is uh, quite a little simple one. In uh, later videos, I'm going to be showing you how to do things like arranging your Ecamm windows and all sorts of things like that, getting your Ecamm set up ready for recording or for live streaming, uh, all using the uh, built-in functions, but then combining that also with Keyboard Maestro. So if you have found that useful, then definitely go down, leave a comment, tell me what else you would like to see in this series. Uh, and if you found it really useful, then you can always head over to my Buy Me A Coffee page. That's the easiest way to support the channel on uh, an ongoing or one-off basis uh, but don't go anywhere though because uh, I am actually going to be leaving a link to my other Stream Deck videos over on the right hand side uh, so you can check out some of those and there'll be more in this series coming up very soon.